vacation. Look here. Uh, good morning, Uncle Lou here. The Atlanta Falcons strike again. Strike again. Uh, Jaleel Collins. Now this, this bum here. Now first of all, I've been telling you about this guy since the Falcons drafted him. He's terrible. He's not any good. He'll never mount anything in the NFL. But to make matters worse, the Falcons go out and blow a third round pick on this guy for no reason. He's terrible last year. He hardly sees the field. When he does, he makes no impact, or at least not a positive one. Just an awful player. Now, he gets caught cheating! Uh, <laughs> Mr. Collins, sir, Jaleel, you need a refund, buddy? Uh, you were taking performance-enhancing drugs, and it wasn't enhancing your performance! You were terrible! Terrible! So let's recap this. The Falcons, the, the worst drafting team in the history of the NFL, wasted a draft pick on you. That's no surprise. You underperformed and were terrible, hardly saw the field. When you did, you weren't any good. That was no surprise to Uncle Lou. Now you've got caught with performing enhancing drugs that didn't work. It didn't enhance your performance any. On top of that, you were dumb enough to get caught and on top of that, you're getting punished. Four games. Uh, Tom Brady and the Patriots have been caught cheating how many times? Five, six, seven, I don't even know anymore. You've got caught cheating once and your punishment is more than all of the their punishments combined? You're doing it wrong, uh, Mr. Collins. Uh, but anyway, uh, wh what else is going on with my Atlanta Falcons? Ah, what else is going on with my Atlanta Falcons? Well, it looks like they brought Leonard Floyd in for an interview. Now, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to get all on a Leonard Floyd kick like I did last year with Todd Gurley. And the reason is simple. Leonard Floyd is going to be a good NFL player. Uh, he's got the skills and the talent level to succeed in the NFL. But he's not going to be the best at anything in the NFL. He's going to be good, but he's not going to be the best at anything. Like, Todd Gurley... Anybody with a brain could see that Todd Gurley was a once in a, in a generation, a once in a decade talent. Uh, everyone except the Falcons could see that, who passed on him for no good reason and drafted Vic Busley, uh, who underperformed, was terrible. And now they're interviewing uh, Leonard Floyd, looking, you know, like they might want to try to draft him. You know, we'll see what happens there. Uh, now, Leonard Floyd is better than Vic Beasley. You could write, I mean, there's no, there's zero question about that. I mean, that, that you could write that down, uh, whatever you need to do. Leonard Floyd will be twice the NFL player that Vic Beasley is, but I'm not going to spend months and months and months going on about Leonard Floyd like I did Todd Gurley because the, the, the talent level is not, is not, is not there. Leonard Floyd, he'll be a good NFL player. He's not going to be the best, uh, at, you know, the best defensive end linebacker, the best, uh, pass rush or whatever, uh, whenever it was obvious that Todd Gurley was going to be, uh, you know, the best running back in the NFL, which he is. Uh, yep. So anyway, Falcons are up to the same old Falcons tricks here. They go out, waste a first round pick on Vic Busley. He's no good. Now they're looking to bring in Leonard Floyd, who's the same type player of Vic, but he's a pass rusher, you know. <sighs> As long as they stick with Thomas Dimitrov, though, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get mediocre to, to underwhelming drafts every year. Uh, you're going to struggle to make 500. You'll make the playoffs once every four or five years. You'll do nothing in the playoffs, and you'll continue to be one of the worst, uh, most laughable franchises in the history of the NFL. Uh, have a great day. And a good morning, too. Oh, uh, Falcons for life. It's time to send me my money.